Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Oli Siren. I come from the community of Milton. Milton is a uh, consultancy working at the intersection of uh, business and society. And, um, and um, I'm here to talk about why Metaverse as a concept interests us, why should it interest us, does it even interest us, and, uh, and kind of like I would like to open and, uh, and um, open a discussion on the kind of social, socio-economic background on, on why on earth is all of this, this event, all the technologies and platforms presented here relevant to people in general. My, um, my friend last weekend uh, at a dinner uh, uh, said something like this. He started to rant. <laughs> and he started to rant along these lines. And now we have Facebook imposing this metaverse on us that absolutely no one wants. And um, in many ways, maybe, maybe there, there is a point, and, and we, can, we, can all, we can all see and we can all perceive and feel it in our, our, our bones that, that the, well, the digital developments of the last decade hasn't been only, only positive things, especially when looking from the big tech big techs side. I, uh, I argue that this, this position my friend took at that dinner party is not a unique one. Many people are wondering same kind of things at the moment. Even from people who have backgrounds in Silicon Valley, uh, start, startups and so, so forth, uh, have been, have been vocal, vocal about, uh, about the dangers of, let's say, social media, for example. If this metas, metaverse is just a continuum on that, why should we even welcome that development? as a part of, part, of, uh, part, part of our lives. As an introduction uh, to this short, uh, short speech I'm, uh, I'm uh, about, to, uh, about to make, I would li like, to, uh, like to go through a narrative that I, that I wrote uh, uh, last summer. In some parts it's all already old-fashioned and, 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 and antiqued because the space is moving so fast, but I would like to use it as an opener to, uh, to, uh, to what I'm about to speak. So, let's begin. A developed understanding of inequality reminds different people that they should also have the right to share the cake of free prosperity, freedom and democracy. For those born and raised to believe that this cake should automatically belong to them, squeezing in to get a seat at the desert table is getting more complicated than before. A social promise of a reliable succession of education, employment, gaining access to the middle class and benefiting from social and economic progress is considered broken. These disappointed dreamers have the most powerful tools in history to organize and build their narratives, identities and ideologies online. The growing sense of unfairness is powered by social augmentation on online platforms, leading to increasing phenomenal volatility. In other words, people feel that they are having a hard time in an unfair world and this dissatisfaction is extremely hard to contain. Before, Individuals left areas of narrow opportunities searching for a better future, but where do you go if you're already living in a developed nation? Your skills are not needed elsewhere, and the cost of living in cities is prohibitive. We are experiencing migration in a world where there is only virtual room to maneuver. This exploration of freedom and prosperity has already affected our lives profoundly, and it will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. These disappointed dreamers are building their settlements online, and at the same time, our heating world is turning into blockchain-hardened metaverse. It's an exodus of sorts, and the old world needs to serve people better to keep them at bay. And because I'm utterly unable to give any coherent keynotes, I will backtrack to the, uh, to the first, first sentence, the uh, idea 
and rant my friend, friend, uh, friend made last weekend. Why would we want this metaverse to happen? I argue that um, a part of this opinion uh, comes from the posi position of privilege. If we look around us, you know, if we try to get the world around us, uh, and for a, for a white guy like me, it's, 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 a, it's, it's that difficult task to, task, task to embark on, but I try. If we try to get the world around, around us, one fair assessment is that the world is not a fair place to everyone. It's not an equal place. Everyone does not have the equal possibilities of self-expression to, uh, to uh, accomplish professional things or personal things in this world. In fact, some, some people, some groups are, are actively uh, pushed aside from the, uh, or from the key places in the society. In this moment, Metaverse presents itself as a promise or possibility uh, of freedom, of a place where, where you can be whatever you want, with whoever you want, uh, you can express yourself in a, in a, in a, in a totally, to, totally another level than, than today. I, if, I, if I read correctly, uh, correctly news some other day was that um, last year, for example, uh, was, was a very violent year uh, from the point of view of, uh, of violence against uh, transgender people. If we look at, look at uh, what's making Instagram, for example, tick at the moment, and why we follow the influencers we follow and so forth, is that those arenas uh, of visual expression have become platforms for us living and being. It's wonderful to see, how, see the journeys of influencers transitioning from, from, let's say, a, a more, uh, more uh, framed or more narrow perspective of their own identity to a larger one. That's why we follow them. We follow journeys. We follow other peoples on their way to become something else. These, of course, are not new ideas. We can hark back to the uh, beginning of the 90s. Beginning of 90s, uh, Donna Haraway's Cyborg Manifesto, for example. Where, where, uh, where Donna uh, argued that true feminism uh, will not be seen until we are freed from our physical spaces and bodies that dictate our beings. We can, uh, we can go uh, to, a, uh, to, a, um, to a more recent piece of uh, feminist, uh, feminist writing, the, the Xenofeminist uh, Manifesto, just translated in Finnish, by the way, you can find it in zelda.fi uh, in Finnish, uh, depicting kind of like the freedoms, the digital realms around us, uh, pose and present for us and our, our, uh, our, our possibilities to express ourselves and being. And if we go even further, we go to the mid-1900s, and of course, here comes Marx. <laughs> Uh, Marx, in his, uh, in his fragments, uh, hinted at, at this idea of, of, of life, our lives being at the center of production. It's a, it's a big and lofty thought, I, I know. But if we look at the influencer economy of today, for example, in Instagram, that's it. People's life, lives at the center of production now harnessed by, by uh, Facebook, in this case, to bring in the audiences and to bring in the marketing, uh, the, the ad money, the social, so, social media ad money. So our lives have become and have positioned themselves at the center of production, even at the kind of like a, a larger, larger idea. Uh, many of our, uh, many of our uh, commercial decisions in our lives are motivated by us becoming something else. Let's say, us getting married, 
or us founding a family or anything. We are becoming something else and that becoming is at the core of capitalistic production, hints Marx. And, uh, and I think this case of, case of uh, social media and Instagram kind of like, uh, kind of like makes make, make very living and uh, relevant argument even in this age. Okay, what, what does it have to do with anything we're experiencing here? And for example, there at the demo room, we are seeing different, different kind of uh, XR solutions uh, presenting us, us with possibilities in, uh, for existing in uh, virtual spaces. For example, doing B2B meetings in, in, uh, in virtual spaces and so forth. I firmly believe that the technological developments only are not going to be enough, for, enough to drive the metaverse into existing. If these spaces, if these methods and technologies do not help us becoming, becoming more, becoming different, uh, gaining new freedoms and possibilities, people are not going to start using them. For me, and I, I try to make a, make a technology ana analog here, but, but many of you are maybe familiar with the history of electronic music. And the drum, machi drum machine, the Roland 303, for example, or 808, are at the center of electronic music and electronic music culture. Few people know that these drum machines were originally uh, designed at their very first iterations to be uh, kind of like synthetic bass players for waltz and dance bands in kind of like the old, old, uh, old dance culture. And it took several, several years and whole another set of audiences to find these technologies and start using these technologies incorrectly, taking these bass player synthesizing machines and turning into the drum machines of the gay clubs in, let's say, Chicago. Metaverse will not become a reality until the wrong people will find these technologies and start using them in wrong ways. B2B sales usage won't be enough to ignite the, the, the metaverse transition culturally uh, uh, or even economically as, as a relevant thing. There needs to be the subcultures, the people who now, now do not have the freedoms they ought to have finding these platforms and uh, gaining, gaining new perspectives on what they can be and 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 where we are going with uh, and where we are going with our identities. I think here, uh, here we have to take a hard look on ourselves and the metaverse uh, transition and ask if we are providing these audiences and us as individuals with the tools to express ourselves more fully. If we look at, for example, the avatars or the spaces and the and the uh, mod feel, uh, our ways to modify the experiences and the spaces and our identities we still fall short another perspective to look the whole metaverse transition is 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 economical i see metaverse transition as being kind of like this two side sided coin we have the digital technologies developing, internet developing into being more immersive and experiential. But at the same time, uh, we have decentralized economy uh, giving us tools to actually invest in items and objects and organizations uh, living inherently and native to metaverse. And these two sides of the coin are extremely, extremely important for this transition to actually come to fruition at any point. If 
let's say let's say let's look around here at, at this physical space where we are at the moment. Uh, we take these spaces for granted, but 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 these spaces around us every day are regulated, uh, and and through this regulation or uh, framework, we can, for example, own a chair, or we can invest in a in a in a college, or we can invest in our surroundings, we can invest in interior design, we can invest in organizations and so forth. We can put our time. It's worthwhile to put our time and money into something. If we can't. Uh, if we can't uh, consolidate and keep ownership in metaverse, in these digital realms where uh, we're building, uh, we can't. Uh, it's not. It's not feasible, and it's hard to argument for putting years of your time to build, let's say, a building or a space uh, in metaverse, or, for example, investing in a in a uh, digital. Uh, digital apparel uh, brand, for example, that predominantly would function in, in, in these digital realms ac across different gaming platforms and so forth. So this economical plumbing, let's say, sort of, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to frame it so, uh, is necessary for this experiential side to, uh, to, uh, to grow even f further and to develop even further. Thus, it's also very. Um, we should take a hard look also on the on the economical structures that we now use to build the metaverse. Many of these, maybe maybe some of these companies, are are VC backed, are 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 sort of living economically still in this world, uh, while while there there maybe maybe should be more efforts. To utilize NFTs and, and and different protocols and different economical networks now uh, that are now being built in the crypto and decentralized economy uh, uh, to their benefit. So I ask you and I encourage you to uh, to perceive metaverse not only as a as a as a sort of a question of when do we have this. Uh, these, these experiences and are these glasses good enough for this and that? Those glasses won't be good, good enough for this and that if there won't be won't be uh, the social uh, social uh, kind of like uh, energies flowing into that space. If there won't be the economical uh, plumbing and economical structures. Uh, making making that the complexity, the digital complexity of metaverse possible, and uh, and uh, and only then can we sort of have a have a fully supported transition into something that we can describe fully as metaverse. That's one way to look at it. Of course, metaverse, as we all know, who who who, uh, who are here today, is a living concept. <laughs> it it can be it can be looked and uh, deciphered from different angles. Uh, all of us giving its own meaning, and that's why this moment in time is so super important. We have this opening, and if we leave it to only, let's say, Meta, the, 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 ex Facebook, and, and such, we are uh, we are actually giving away huge responsibilities and power in building our societies societies as well. We who uh, we who uh, like to think about metaverse and are maybe maybe excited about its possibilities and work with it. We don't only have the responsibility of uh, of building our technologies, but also translating what these technologies mean to different people to make make them to be tools to free ourselves and not to not to harness our coming back to Marx, not to harness our becoming something, not to harness our lives uh, to, the, uh, to the benefit of capital markets. So we have social responsibility in what we, what we do with Metaverse and how we interact and how we influence the now developing theme of Metaverse. I invite you to look 
360 fully in, in, a, in a very non-clean way, in a dirty way to metaverse and ask and, and work for it, freeing ourselves and benefiting us all. You too. Let's make it, let's make it to be about freedom and not about harnessing our powers to, 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 uh, to something that we are, not, we are not for and we don't want to be for. Thank you.